Oh, Chef David here in Denver, and uh, we're just kind of finishing up day number one with Nina. You can see the back of her head here because she's being she's being an idiot. I don't know why. Um, I've had her for for what we're almost at seventy two hours now, and um, I don't know what this animal control officer in Galveston, Texas, experienced with her. She's skittish. Um, She's very, very social. She's here with uh, four pit bulls and one Australian Shepherd Border Collie mix. And she's uh, the youngest. She's two. And um, she's been social with all of them, or at least cordial. And, uh, uh, you know, as far as falling in line with, um, Nina, come on. Falling in line with our rules that we have here, um, no problems. She, she, she just wants to be part of the group and, and she knows she wants something better for herself. As you can see, Laura scrolled down on her, on her abdomen area. She's a little thin, but we're gonna, she's already eating very, very well and taking lots of water, uh, you know, food in, food out, and water in, pee out, so she's doing well with that. Um, little bit of a problem getting out of cars not getting in. She loves getting in the car. She likes going bye-bye. She loves sticking her head out the window. Um, she's just, she's, she has the uh, potential, the capability of being a very, very happy, well-rounded, balanced dog. And uh, yeah, again, what this guy experienced down in, in, uh, in Galveston, <clears throat> you know what? Uh, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to raise the incompetence flag. And the guy didn't know what he was doing, or he's just not very good at handling animals. And um, yeah, that's this is the same dog. And and the pictures that we all saw of of Nina, um, or at the time, fine wine in her cell and just a mess. Look, look, that's not the same dog anymore either. Thank God. And Nina. we're we're on our way. We are on our way. We love her ears. Uh, the few people that have seen her in the past 72 hours are just uh, uh, just enthralled by her. She is. She's striking, and uh, she's already showing some some signs of of having a lot of pride. A lot of pride. Uh, she prances across the backyard in the snow, and um, you know that tail is up. Her head is up. She's got some pride in her. We just want to foster that and then, you know, make sure we have some controls over it so she doesn't, you know, get too full of herself as long as she remains part of the pack. But she chases squirrels and she can rear up on her hind legs to get some height. And uh, the other dogs are, are real happy with her being here. Um, and uh, things are looking good. We've got some training and rehab to do. And that's either going to take five minutes or five years, but it doesn't matter. She's going to be with us and uh, we've got high hopes for. So anyways, again, Chef David here in Denver. Thanks for listening.